Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. This is your preview for Manchester United versus Barcelona. Man United are in a good heart ahead of this Europa League playoff second leg with Barcelona at Old Trafford after that 2-2 draw at the camp. Now, uh, the stage is set now for another thrilling occasion at the Theater of Dreams. The Reds defeated Leicester City 3-0 at the weekend thanks to Marcus Rashford double and Jaden Sancho's third goal with the game making the end of Casemiro's three match suspension for the red card that he received against Crystal Palace so in the show guys in the show we are going to cover the team news the predicted starting 11 the current form head to head and score prediction at the end so be sure to stick around and get involved by letting us know uh, who should be in the starting 11 and, and who should start or who shouldn't start you do let us know in the comment section below as well before we get into the team news people if you are enjoying these previews smash a like on the stream subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here so let's quickly get into the team news so team news Scott McTominay returned from uh, a layoff as a as a substitute on Sunday, uh, performing well against the Fox. But Harry Maguire, Anthony, uh, Anthony Martial all missed out, and they are doubtful for Thursday night. So we're gonna find out if they're gonna be available based on the press conference that uh, Eric Ten Hag will make tomorrow. Uh, Christian Eriksen. Donny van de Beek are missing with the long-term problems. We know that already. So they're not going to be available for this match. Uh, Lissandro Martinez and Marcel Sabatzer are available after missing the first leg uh, due to a European ban. Uh, Rafael Varane, Terrell Malasia are options uh, to return in defense as well after being left out on the bench against Leicester City. So before I show you guys my starting 11, I want to quickly cover uh, Barcelona's team news as well. We need to be aware of what they have and who do they have and who they don't have. Uh, Sergio Busquets is back in the fold after being an unused substitute. This is the team that has started against Barcelona uh, in the first leg. So we're going to make a few changes here. We're going to make a few changes. Obviously, we're not going to start the same team that played in the first leg. So David De Gea starts and goal for me. I, I don't think we need to make a change on that. Uh, in terms of Wambasaka, Wambasaka, I would rather see Dalot instead of Wambasaka because we need to win this game. A draw is not enough now. We're playing at home. We need to win the game. And I believe playing Dalot is more useful for Man United to score goals and to create chances. So I would go with Dalot, but Wambasaka is not that far off. Do let me know in the chat. Would you go with Dalot or would you go with Rolls-Royce Varane? Rolls-Royce Varane will stay as a center back. Luke Shaw played as a left center back in that first leg. But in this match, we got Martinez back. World Cup winner Martinez is back. So we're definitely going to use Martinez here. Push Malasia out and play Luke Shaw as a left back. So this should be the back four in my opinion. And this is the back four I think will play on Thursday night. Uh, Casemiro. So Casemiro is back from suspension. Like I said, he did play the first leg. Uh, we're going to need him now definitely to protect this back four. One of the best CDMs in the game. I mean, there's no question about that. Casemiro is the best CDM in the game. I don't think Busquets is better than him. I know. Would you go with Fred to partner Casemiro or would you go with Sabatza? is the big question in my opinion i think we should go with sabatza fred is not a starter in my opinion he's a very good uh squad player he could definitely help you out uh, from the bench but i don't want to start matches uh with fred like i said fred gives you a lot of energy maybe we could use him in the second half after 60 minutes uh 65 minutes he can come in and give us that energy and give us that uh push if we need a goal but I don't think we should we should start the game with Fred. And we haven't seen Casemiro and Sabatza play together. So this is a great opportunity to see uh, Sabatza, how good he is. Obviously, our number one choice is Ericsson in that position. And Ericsson is not available. Since Ericsson is injured, 
the next best thing we have is Sabata. It's not Fred and it's not McTominay, in my opinion. So for that reason, I'm going with Sabata and Casemiro in the middle of the park. Do you guys agree or disagree? Let me know in the chat. I think we definitely are going to see the front, uh, the same front four, in my opinion. Maybe a tweak, just a tweak in this lineup. I think we're going to see Sancho on this side. We probably going to see uh, Bruno Fernandes being pushed uh, to the right and Weghorst as a number 10. I know, I know, I don't like it. I really don't like it. I don't think it worked against Leicester City as well in that first half, but we're probably going to see the same thing in this match. We're probably going to see the same thing in this match. Weghorst as a number 10, which I completely disagree with, but somehow it's working for Eric Ten Hag. So I'm not going to go against it. If it's getting results, are we getting wins? by playing Weghorst as a number 10. So be it, I think. But that's not my my choice. It's not my preference at all. But this is just my prediction that he's going to stick with this front four, in my opinion. So this is, there you go. I mean, th th this is the lineup I think is going to play against uh, Barcelona. Okay, so guys, teams full. Teams full. We won. In the past five games, we've won three games. We've drawn two games. So let's look at Barcelona's team form. So they've won four and drawn only one. That is the game that they've drawn against us. So they, they have a better uh, team form than us, to be honest. Uh, head to head, obviously the past five games, we have won. Actually, we've won once. We've won once, lost three times and drawn one. So head to head is not good. It's not a good look against Barcelona. Let's, let's not forget, we've lost two finals, people. We've lost two finals against Barcelona. Uh, so this is not going to be easy. Uh, even though they have not won at Old Trafford for a long time. So that is the edge that we have. That is the edge that we have. The fact that we're playing at home, we can definitely, definitely punish them and win the game. Let me, let me give you my, uh, guys my prediction. I think we're going to win this game as well. I'm confident. I think Manchester United will win this game 2-1. Uh, Barcelona have only won once in five attempts at Old Trafford, and I don't fancy them to win this one either. Eric Ten Hag was actually delighted uh, that uh, his team's performance in the first leg, and he will be confident of beating Xavi uh, on his own turf. Definitely at Old Trafford, we definitely are confident of beating Barcelona. The game between the two European giants is obviously expected to be a classic. Uh, Barcelona has struggled de de defensively recently and they will be without uh, several key players uh, in the second leg. Man United's recent form, uh, the offense and the defense have been above average and it's looking good. So for that reason, I think Manchester United will win this game 2-1 and probably Marcus Rashford will get on the score sheet. Let me just uh, review the lineup before I finish here. So this is the team I think should play uh, or will play against Barcelona. David De Gea and goal. The two fullbacks are Shaw and Dalot in center back position. Martinez and Varane. Uh, Casemiro and Sabatza, the two holding midfielders. And the front four is Sancho on the left. Bruno on the right. Weghorst just behind. Marcus Rashford, the guy is on smoke. The guy is on fire. And I think Marcus Rashford will continue his form against Barcelona as well and probably get a goal in this match. Okay, people, that is it. That is it. Thank you all for watching. Uh, be sure, like I said, be sure to join us for the watch along uh, on Thursday night. And also let us know in the comments section what you guys think about the lineup and also what is your score predictions uh, for this game. And that is it, people. Thank you again. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.